All right, so what's up, guys? It's Mike G here from Fifth Period on his Precalculus with Waterman and Pain, and today I'm just going to show you guys a really quick response video uh, that has to do with one of those baseball equations. And um, yeah, I'll try to keep this video under 10 minutes. Um, apologies for any shakiness. I'm recording this with a webcam. And I try to write the equation out beforehand to reduce any confusion or shakiness or like my hand covering. For those of you who don't know my face, um, well, people have compared me to the YouTuber Timothy De La Ghetto to Rufio from Hook. Yeah. On to some math. The problem I'm going to show to you guys today is the problem 44 on page 531. And this problem is dealing with baseball, one of those baseball problems, all right? So we got a baseball player named Kirby that hits a ball at a 30 degree angle at 120 feet per second, four feet above the ground and towards a wall 300, uh, 350 feet away and 30 feet high, okay. So, try to imagine that real quick. And from all the numbers that we just got right there, I gathered um, all the, that information into two different equations that we are going to be able to put into the calculator if it's set in parameter mode, of course. But... These equations will give you the graph you're looking for right there to help you solve whether or not this ball went over the fence or the wall. So these two equations tie back into the component form. And as you can see, they're highlighted right there. If I keep the camera steady or my webcam and these equations with the numbers plugged in look like this. We got 120 for x times cosine of 30 plus t. And for y, we got negative 16t squared, which is gravity. And 120 times sine of 30 times t plus 4 which, and 4 is again the feet that the ball was hit above the ground so there's those equations again okay and off here to the side we have off here to the side we have x for how far the ball went y for how high and t for seconds or time and H for the starting height, and there's theta for angle, and FPS again for the speed, which is feet per second. And here is the graph that you're gonna end up with after you input the equations right there. And you also have 350 x uh, x2 and 30 at y2 to imitate the wall which on my calculator since i'm not so great at with the calculator stuff as a dot but it pretty much lets you know that the ball actually just barely got under the wall so it ricocheted off the very top and came back into the outfield and what the question is asking is a did it did it go for a home run and B is it catchable so for A it ob obviously it wasn't a home run and for B is it catchable I would say so because it hits the very tip top of the wall camera's not even on <laughs> okay it hits the very tip top of the wall and it ricochets back into the inside field or outfield outfield yeah back into the outfield where catchers can react to it 
and catch the ball. But if it maybe hit like right here, in the very bottom, it would have given the catchers a lot harder uh, shot of catching it and a lot less time to react to it before it hits the ground. So I would say it's pretty catchable. And so basically what I want you guys to take away from this is these two equations that help you graph everything you need to figure out if the ball like how far it goes or if it goes over a wall it, this gives you right here this gives you the graph you're looking for of the ball movement so yeah there's 44 um, nothing much else to explain uh, thanks for watching